Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Tessak and welcome to the first devlog recorded in 2023. And let's start this year by looking back at Games Defenders just to see how the game evolved. And of course, I have a bunch of versions backed up, almost 170, from which I selected 6 versions, 3 from 2022, 2 from 2021 and of course, I will include the current version as well. I will show all the versions from 2022 first, with the current version in left top corner. After that I will show current version, version from January 2022, version from summer 2021 and of course version from start of 2021, which is not the oldest version I have. So let's go. Right from the start we are able to notice the difference in intro. Funnily enough I picked version from spring that just loops, which means it's probably one of the earliest versions of the intro. Once in the menu, notice how long the night sky have been with us. Prior to that, we had to view on Dylan during day. Surprisingly, the tavern haven't been changed that much. I say surprisingly because I did ton of work on the menu in 2022, but I guess most of them weren't visual. And finally, we have some changes in the hero's inventory, and in the earlier versions, uh, we can see a bug where spell is being placed in inventory instead. And spells had just small changes in the view, there is also hidden text box that I believe did not change since the implementation, as it's mainly for testing, for that reason it's not visible at this moment. And lastly we have the game itself, new background, new town sprites, new background for games and of course improved games and the UI. If you take a note of the movement of the games you can see the difference between the two upper and two lower versions, that's because the upper version is using the reward physics I made from scratch, as well as a new way of handling the match-free game. Anyway, so far this looks quite familiar, so let's go back to 2021. I have one version from summer 2021 and one from January, excuse me, January 2021. These two will be in the bottom and I will leave the current version on the top left corner and version from January 2022 in top right corner just so we can compare. So let's start. And straight away we can see that none of the older versions have any intro whatsoever. The newer version from 2021 have some form of menu and I like how I was thinking in terms of layout even back then. I really think this menu layout works the best. Take a note how all the windows are kept open and must be closed by hand. I remember struggling with this and it took me some time to realize how to do it properly. Programming is more fun if you have no idea what you are doing. Originally heroes were supposed to have 4 slots for armor as well as 3 weapons. Uh, that proved to be hell to balance and was needlessly complicated. I like the customizability though, uh, that's the reason for the 6 slots. And spells were not available at all. Uh, this is the same view, but take a note of the 4 slots instead of spellbar. This was designed to work as a blessings instead, player would be able to equip blessings and alter the game this way. Cool idea, but didn't quite work out and turned out to be too boring. Anyway, let's check the game itself because that's where we will have something for the first version as well. I have to say I feel kinda nostalgic about the tiles instead of the games for match 3. Also, I know it doesn't look like it, but the heroes in the left bottom corner are attacking and slowly defeating the opponents. And yeah, the first version is a little bit cursed. So what do you think? I know I learned ton making this game and I'm pretty sure I'm close to finally finishing Games Defenders and releasing them on Steam. So for that reason I would like to ask you to go ahead and check the Steam page, wishlist the game and have awesome week. Before you go, I would like to ask you to like this video, leave a comment and possibly subscribe to my channel as well. Anyway, there are other links in description, uh, these links head to my games, Discord server and other social media. So check that out as well and I will catch you next time, see ya!